So I made a program that will literally help you get more and better scores by just pressing one button. Yes, and I'm not kidding, this is not a clickbait and this is not a hack or anything, this is completely legal. Before I say anything else about this, I'll just show you how it works. Bro, it's so boring to always be missing the freaking beginning of the map. I wish I just like had something that got rid of this mind block. Oh wait, maybe I do. But can I just go back to normal if I want to? Oh yes, I can. Huh, all right, that's cool. So let's start from the beginning. I'm pretty sure most of you already know what mind block is, but not everyone knows a way to deal with it. So there's many ways you can deal with it, like changing skins, analyzing the map in the editor, and other methods out there. But definitely the most effective one is to do the Australia method. Probably many of you don't even know what I mean by Australia method, so don't worry, I will explain to you. So let's say you're mind block in this map. Your mind just doesn't process the pattern and you just play it out of memory. So that causes you to not really aim the circle where it really is, but where your mind thinks it is. And that's basically what we call a good old mind block, right? But the thing is, if the circles were in a different spot on the screen, then that pattern would be new to your brain, so you wouldn't be blocked on it, so therefore you will hit it. That's what happens, for example, when you use hard rock. If you're mind block on a pattern and you use hard rock, then the nodes are gonna be in a different position on the screen, so your brain will process it in a different way. Also, the AR can influence on how you mind block or not, but I'm not gonna get into it. My point is that you indeed can get rid of mind block if you just use hard rock. But the thing is that maybe with hard rock, that map becomes too hard for you to be able to FC or get the play that you want to get. So what if you could just flip the nodes, but without using hard rock? So that's when Australia method comes into play. How to make the nodes be in a different spot? easy. Just flip your monitor, just flip your tablet, and then you start playing the game. Obviously, you're not physically gonna flip your monitor, but you're just gonna flip it in the settings. And then if you're using a tablet, it's very convenient because you can just rotate the area by 180 degrees, and boom, suddenly you can get rid of your mind block. Oh my god, oh my god! Holy shit! I did it, boys! I fucking did it! Upside down, 1100! It's a bit tougher if you play with mouse, because as far as I know, there's no way of rotating your mouse inputs without it being considered as a cheat to Osu, but you can always just like flip your mouse. So yeah, this Australia method has been known in the community for a very very long time. Mainly the top players know very well that this is a thing, but not many people actually use it because it's very inconvenient to set up. And also, once you set everything up, when you play the map, it's so annoying, so distracting. The numbers are upside down, everything is upside down. And then to be able to like disable all that is just like a brain rot. So yeah, basically, the whole point of the program I made is to just make this process way easier for people with one click, have everything ready and start just playing seamlessly. I'm gonna start explaining now how to download the program, how the program works, and things that you should really know before trying it out. So if you want to download, you can just go to the link in the description or just type shikasura.com. This will get you to my website. So it's still very work in progress, but in the future when I have more time, it will be prettier, I promise. So go to downloads and just download the program right here or go to the GitHub page and this is when I want to talk about GitHub. So my program is indeed open source, everyone can see what I wrote and if you want to download directly from GitHub, that's also an option. And clarifying that my program is open source is very important for what I'm gonna say next. And it's that unfortunately, this program will be detected as a virus by your PC. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm nuking your PC or something. So you see, my program basically does hotkeys inside of Fosu, tries to access skin files, tries to access your open tablet driver, tries to access many things that, that Windows thinks is harmful. So I understand if you don't want to download it because it says it's a Trojan virus. I totally get it, but trust me, my coding experience does not go that far to make virus. I'm truly just trying to make a tool for Osu players. If you know someone that knows about coding, or you want to check out the code yourself, or you want to ask ChatGPT if my code is harmful, then you can definitely do it, since everything is open source and nothing is maliciously hidden. But if you understand this point, then we can move on. So once you download the program, immediately what you want to do is disable your antivirus. Disable, disable all these options, and then after that, we can come back to the program extract that zip file and we have these two things. So to guarantee that the program is not gonna give you any problems, I recommend going back to Windows Defender 
and adding my program and the folder as an exclusion. If you have another antivirus in your PC, you obviously need to disable that too. So yeah, once it's done and the program is not automatically and magically deleted by your antiviruses, then it's time to open it. This is what the program looks like. So you have the manual mode and the automatic mode. I'm gonna show you the manual mode first, but I really recommend you sticking to the automatic mode if you, number one, are using a tablet with open tablet drivers and to don't really change the skin that often because when you press on auto detect also skin the correct skin won't be detected if you change your skin too often but if you change your skin too often or you do not use a tablet then we can just stick to manual so we click on where it says select also directory select the also folder not the skins folder the also folder select folder and you will see that all the skins will load okay so only after recording i realized that you might not know where the hell your OSU folder is. If that's the case for you, just open OSU, go to options, open OSU folder, and then just click here on an empty space and just do control C to copy. Or you can also right click and copy. And then you click on select OSU directory and you do the exact same. Just go to an empty space here, click, and then control B or also right click and paste. Then press enter and then select folder. That way it will work. So choose whatever skin you're using at the time. In my case, I'm just using the roughest skin. So once the skin is selected, you may use any of these three buttons. So Australia mode is the one that does everything for you, but you can only use this if you have a tablet that uses open tablet driver. This is the open tablet driver. If you do not have it, I will leave a link in the description below. And maybe we will link a video on how to install it if I find one. But I will assume that most of you that use a tablet already have this open tablet driver installed. So yeah, just make sure that the driver is open in the background. And now we just press Australia mode. So it will take a few seconds. But after a bit, you will get this message here that tells you how to disable the hotkeys. So the first three times that you use the Australia mode, the text will be on the screen for a little bit longer so you can read it and understand the hotkeys. But yeah, to disable it is Shift, Alt and A. So if we go to any map, we'll see that things have been rotated. So yeah, right now my screen is upside down, but my tablet works perfectly fine and goes wherever I want it to go. So yeah, if we go to a normal map, you'll see that the numbers and the hundreds and fifties are rotated and the combo, accuracy, and score numbers all have disappeared. This is made to be less distracting. I think it generally is really good, but I plan to add a settings tab here to be able to customize everything that the program will do. So if you don't want this stuff to disappear, that's also gonna be possible to customize. So yeah, now while we're here, let's press Shift, Alt, and A, and as you see, my screen is rotated back and my tablet also works just fine. So let's say that you're not using a tablet or you can't use Australia mod for X reason. You can still rotate the numbers and restore the numbers automatically. So let's do that. So first, let's make sure that the skin is selected, then rotate numbers and refresh skin in game. That will focus the also window and refresh our skin. So now you see that the skin has been successfully rotated, but our monitor is not rotated. So we have to do that manually, but you can just do that by right clicking on your desktop display settings, scrolling down, and where it says landscape, just go landscape flip. Won't make your screen upside down, but remember in the future there will be a settings tab where you could change the behavior of this button if you wanted to rotate the display or not. So yeah, let's go to restore numbers and then refresh skin in game. So yeah, as you see, it just restored completely and it's completely normal once again. So trust me that I really know that if you're a mouse player, you're really in pain right now and you're like, I really want to use this program with Australia mode and do everything automatically, but I do not have a tablet. So again, this program is on a very early stage, but in the future, there's gonna be a mouse mode that you can just enable. I won't promise you that I'll be able to rotate your mouse inputs just as it happens with tablet, but at least everything will be kind of automatic and you just have to like physically rotate your mouse. But for now, this is mainly for tablet users, which I will suppose that is most of you, but yeah. And now I want to say a couple things. There's some known bugs that happen with this program that I haven't fixed yet. So here's a list of them. The only thing that you should really be aware of is that your skins might get ruined, mainly if your skin has a lot of like backup folders or like different cursors, stores in different folders, then my program might get a bit confused and replace those. So basically, if you have a skin that has like a lot of stuff, then the program might struggle a little bit. But if you have just a normal, simple skin, like Rafi skin or others, it should be completely fine. So yeah, you might want to back up your skin just in case. So yeah, I mean, that's 
that's pretty much about it. Thank you everyone for expecting this project so much. To be honest, I was just doing this because I was kind of just bored. But when I tweeted about it, it gained massive attention. So I'm very happy that a lot of you liked my idea. If you want to give me feedback on how to improve or if you want to report some bugs, you can always just talk to me in Discord or just join my Discord server and go to this thread. You might be asking now, how do I know when the next release is gonna be or when the program is gonna get updated? My answer to that is that if you open the program, if there's a new update, it will tell you that your version is old and there's a new one to download. So again, thank you so much to all of you for watching. And thank you so much to the members that make this video possible. David, Sally, Facundo Espinosa, and Digit. If you want to become a member for just $1, that's probably gonna be the best way to support this channel. So yeah, thank you for watching and enjoy.